about today, I was thinking, wow, September is almost over. So I was thinking winter is coming really soon. And last year, um, I ended up getting stranded in a parking lot with a baby and without jumper cables. So I was thinking about that and I was thinking this year I'm going to be ready. So we've already had most of our stuff already ready in our car. So I'm going to go through some of the things that I have in my car for safety survival. Um, and I'm going to go over my first aid kit and all of my oils that I have in there along with everything else so that you can be thinking about this too because before you know it, winter is going to be here. And if you are living in Wisconsin, the Minnesota area, um, in the you know snow area, you definitely want to be ready. And even if you don't, if you're one of our California or Florida you know, members, um, these are some things that are good for anybody to have in their car, um, you know, minus some of the more wintry stuff. So, so you just never know when emergency is going to happen. All right, so I'm in my garage right now, and I'm going to show you what I have hiding under my car in the secret compartment. All right, so here is the back of my truck, and we have this really awesome compartment that um, opens up, and that's where I have stored most emergency preparedness items that you may need if you get stranded in a snowstorm or stranded anywhere um, with your car you're gonna want to have a few essentials and I have a checklist that I've kind of been working through so I'm first gonna go through um, my main giant compartment here so you're gonna want to make sure that you have extra hats mittens and gloves these are not the best they're wool but they're not waterproof so I'm gonna trade these out with some better ones um, so I need to get some more hats, mittens, and gloves for the whole family. Um, we also have some rope in here. It's always good to have a really super strong strength um, rope. Along with that, we have um, a cabernet. Um, I think that's how you say it. I'm not a rock climber, but this is something that every emergency kit should have. Uh, I have my little tiny pocket knife when I used to work on the horse farm. Some key that in here. Um, compass, electrical tape, um, we also have emergency food rations. Inside this awesome waterproof case are waterproof matches. Um, definitely something you want to have. We also have a tarp, a shovel, um, a tool kit for when you get stranded on the road and you just switch out your tire. Um, we have a bunch of different things that um, are mini survival sleeping bags along with some thermal blankets and we also have um, a two-person thermal tent we have jumper cables if you live in um, an area that is cold and freezing you do not want to be without jumper cables you need jumper cables and ladies you need to know how to use them so ask your husbands because i didn't know how to use them and it's super easy um let's see a light stick i have this randomly got put in here. Um, duct tape. Another awesome rope. Also, water is a little bit tricky because um, bottled water is fine because it can expand when it freezes. But once it starts freezing, unfreezing, freezing, unfreezing, it becomes a problem. So research what the best water option might be. If you do do bottled water, just know you're going to have to switch it out. Coconut water is great for those who live in the warmer states or during the summer months in the Midwest. Something great to keep on hand in your car um, for hydration. Um, so that's everything that I have in this whole section. Now I'm going to show you um, what I keep in my glove compartment. I keep an extra flashlight. This one is a mini one that I'm going to keep back here. I'm going to put another LED flashlights. I don't know what's up with men and their flashlights. They're kind of obsessed with them. But we have tons of super potent flashlights. So this is our goodie snack bag. We have granola bars, trail mix, some Ninja Red, and then some superfood green powder supplement that you can just add to a water bottle. Um, so I have that. I also like to keep granola bars in my glove compartment for, I live in the city, so there's lots of homeless people um, on certain street corners. And so when I drive by, I like to give them a granola bar. Um, make sure you... Just keep your extra stash if you're going to be giving your granola bars away. Okay, so here, my car actually comes with a first aid kit. And it, I don't know if you can see, but it hooks up right here in the inside of our door. And we just added some things to it. So, inside I have my essential oils pocket reference guide. 
Um, I have our basic first aid kit um, with pretty much basic stuff. It also has more thermal blankets inside here. We have um, alcohol rubs, iodine swabs, there's medical scissors, um, CC okay. paste. So inside my extra goodie bag in the first aid kit, I have activated charcoal, um, cayenne powder capsules, which I made those myself. I have arnica, a handmade um, first aid salve, sieve spray, and then for oils, I have sieves. Um, Digize is a good one to have on hand. Lavender. Lavender is essential for emergencies. Peppermint. Purification. Um, I think having Stress Away or Peace and Calming with a car diffuser, travel diffuser, is probably a really good idea. Energy. Um, this actually will help keep you awake. So if you need, if you cannot fall asleep and you need to stay awake this is your go-to another thing that would be probably good to have in your snack bag is ninja nitro and then and you can even make smaller bottles of everything and label here i have heliclycerum and then i have lemongrass in this one and then i have a deep relief roll on so this is everything that i keep in my emergency kit all right so that's everything that i keep in my emergency kit and in my car so um, definitely make your checklist, get everything ready. A few other things to keep in mind is you always want to make sure that you keep your gas tank at least half full. Um, and if you want to stay in the vehicle, if you get stranded somewhere, you don't want to be going out and about. So stay in your vehicle. And if you do run your vehicle to, you know, get the heat going, um, make sure you crack a window and make sure that your exhaust is never being covered with snow because if your exhaust gets covered in snow you can actually get carbon monoxide poisoning in your side your car so um so that's something that you really want to be careful of oh another thing that's really great to keep is um some sort of sand or um, cat litter actually because it can help you can put it under your wheels and help you get out of a sticky situation so that's something to think about too all right, so those are all my tips for today. Um, I know that it's not winter yet and you're probably all dreading winter coming, but um, it's good to be safe. So get all of that stuff ready and in your car so then you don't have to worry about it. All right, have a good day. Bye.